hope this is a better place than the hotel at Greenberg. It is. The Sickland Chief's one of the best hotels in my territory. See, I've been making it for three years. The landlord's a fine guy. He runs a good bar and say, he's got a mighty pretty daughter. Right this way, Jane. Let's go. Give me. Come in. Well, hello, sister. How are you, Mr. Stevens? Fine, thanks. How's your father and Frank? Just fine, thanks. That's good. You can have your old room, Mr. Stevens. Fine. Number eight. Good. Thank you. I'd like a room and bunk, please. Well, we can give you a room, but, but the bath is at the end of the hall. Uh, try and give me a room as near the bath as you can. I could give you uh, number 13. That's right across the hall. That's all right. I'm not superstitious. Are you a doctor? I am. I'm taking over old Burton's practice. Oh, really? Well, oh, oh, Father, this is Dr. Romaine. He's come over to, to take Dr. Burton's practice. And, uh, well, <laughs> Dr. Romaine, this is my father, Mr. Slade. Glad to know you, Doctor. Glad to know you, Mr. Slade. I hope you like our town. I'm sure I will. You have a mighty fine hotel here. Yeah, we're sort of proud of it ourselves. But you better come let me show you around the place. Yes, I'd like to see it. Now, this is the bar room here. And I claim to have one of the best bars in this part of the country. Oh, you. Uh, uh, hey, Frank, I'll just stick along. See, see you later. later. Hello, Fanny. Hello, Shampoo. As my leg goes down, it hurts. Oh, Sample, you say the funniest thing. Funny, I'm hungry. Can I have a piece of pie? You bet you can. Say, Sample, don't forget, you promised me you'd go down to Morgan's and get me a sack of flour. Then I better go right away before Joe closes up. Well, get a wiggle on you. Howdy, George. Hi, Sam. Hello, Sam. Fanny sent me down for that flour for the hotel. George, get yes. a couple of bags of flour for the sick and cheap, will you? Right away, Joe. How's the family? All fine, except little Mary. You know, Sam, she's been frail so long now that I'm getting worried. Terribly worried. Frank, I want you to meet Dr. Romaine. He's going to live here. Happy to meet you, Doctor. Have a drink. Uh, thanks, I don't drink. Have a cigar. Thank you, I will. Howdy, Andrew. Hello, John. How are you? Pretty good. Everybody will be glad to know you're in town, Doctor. We've been having to send over the forks for Dr. Sparks since Dr. Burton died. Say, Joe, there's a new doctor in town. There is? Yes. Stopping at the hotel. Maybe he could do something for Mary. Nice fella. Seems like he knows his business. There you are, Sam. Well, I'll be getting back. I have some work to do before supper. Go along, fella. So long, Sam. George. Yes. Getting near quitting time. Uh, let's close her up and go home. All right, sir. Dad! 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 How's my little girl today? Oh, fine. <laughs> Hmm. When Mama gets the little girl to bed, Daddy's going to come in and tell her that... What was that story? The big bear. The big... That was it. Then you'll feel better, won't you? Yes, Daddy. All right. That's what we'll do tonight. Hello, Grandma. Do those rich folks treat you all right, Mary? Oh, they're awful good. I never thought I'd live to see a Morgan child mixed with the best people in Cedarville. Hmm. The Morgans are just as good as any people in this town, Mother. Hello, Joe. Oh, honey. Did you enjoy the party, Mary? Oh, Mommy, it was just wonderful. <coughs> I'll get the supper on the table. 
Mother, will you help Mary change her clothes? Come, Mary. Mary doesn't seem to be getting any better, does she? I'm worried about her, Joe. She looks so peaked and seems to tire so easily every day. A new doctor has just arrived in town. I'll be down see him tonight. Perhaps he can do something for us. I hope so. I'll get your supper on the table. Good evening, Doctor. Good evening, Mrs. Blake. Have you seen anything of Frank this evening, Ann? No, I haven't, Dad. Not since dinner. Dr. The man and I have been out walking. Did you want me, Dad? We're going to be pretty busy tonight. You better get behind the bar and help Bill. All right. I'll go right in. Father, you know, you promised Mother that, that you'd never let Frank work in that bar room. Make him work day and night. Well, Frank's a man. He's ready for a man's job. But, Father, you don't seem to... That's all right. Doctor, better come on in the bar and meet some of the boys. You know, you've got to get acquainted if you're going to build up a practice. Good night, Mr. Good night. Harmless pastime for the local sports. <laughs> well, darn my picture. If it ain't Joe Martin. Oh, yes, Sam. What are you doing in the sick and chief? I want to see this new doctor, Sam. Doc Ramin's in the bar room. Come on, Vic. Give us a jig. Come on, Vic. Give us Something important to bring you into my place. Yes, it is. I want to see this new doctor, Simon, about my little girl. Well, he's in the bar getting acquainted with some of the boys. I'd like to see him out here where I can talk to him. What's the matter? Are you too good for my place, Joe? Well, I don't blame you for not wanting to go in there. That railroad construction gang is celebrating payday. And they play pretty rough. No man ever came too rough for a Morgan, Simon. They have all been fighting men. Have been is right. I'll talk to the doctor in there. Good for you, Joe. You're all right, Joe. I'm glad that you finally dropped into my place. Everybody up the bar. The drinks are in the house. Have a drink, Joe. You know I don't drink, Simon. Well, one drink isn't going to hurt you. Oh, hey, fella, ain't you drinking? No. Maybe you're too darn good to drink with us. Maybe I am. <laughs> well, here's one time he's gonna drink and like it. 
I said I wasn't drinking. Hey, you think you're a tough guy, but you don't look tough to me. of Cedarville. Oh, no. No, no. We ought to have one drink after a punch like that. Oh, no, come on. You'll have to excuse me. Come on, Joe. One more patch. One more patch. One more patch. Well, all right. All right. All right. Some whiskey, Bill. Bring a pipe in the house. Well, here's good luck to you, Joe. And to you, Simon. Like it? It's hot. Have another one. Oh, wait a minute, Simon. Oh, come on. Have another one. It won't hurt you. I can feel that one way down on my toe. Joe, that's good liquor. Is it? Best to be had. Well, here's hoping. Here's a go. Dr. Romain, I want you to meet Joe Morgan. That's right. Dr. Romain, I'm mighty glad to see you, sir. Glad to know you. You did a remarkable job on that, Tommy. He had it coming to it. Uh, will you have a little drink? No, thanks. I don't You see, I'm, I'm kind of celebrating. But uh, as a matter of fact, I came here just to see you, doctor. I want to talk to you about my little girl. What's the matter with her? Don't know. That's the trouble. The doctor before you here, he couldn't seem to find out anything. She's getting more frail every day, and I... There. There, dear. Is Daddy home yet? I want him. Daddy will be home soon, dear. I'm getting pretty worried. <laughs> well, now, don't you worry a bit. I'm quite sure I'll be able to do something. I'll drop over and... You will? Thank you, Oh, are you going? I must. Well, no. wait, wait. No. It's early yet. Don't run off. People will think you're afraid of this gang. Stick around. The night's young yet. Come on, have another. All drink. right. Let's get this right now. Come on, get together. Sweet Adelaide. Sweet Adelaide. Hey, 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 hey. Boy, 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 boy. Stop it. Cut it out. Sour. Let's have something good. Something real. Charlie. Charlie, yes. will you sing us a good song, huh? Oh, not to Oh, not come on, be a good fella. Sing, oh, us. Really? sing us a song with a heart. All right, just one then. Right. Out. Sour house. Go on. That's enough. Hey, uh, how about my wild Irish boy? I guess I better be getting on, Simon. No, don't go. Yo, here. Have a cigar. You ought to stay around a while. The night is young yet. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have some music. Stay.
Mr. Morgan was telling me that his little daughter's been rather ill. Yes, she has, Doctor. She's a very small, she's such a sweet little thing, too. Perhaps I'd better go over there and see her tonight. Now, where do they live? Oh, not far. I'd love to show you if, if you'd like. Why, that would be great. All right. I I'll just get my hat on. I won't be a minute. And I'll get my bag. All right. Come on, let's have, let's have another. Sure makes you feel happy, all right. There we go. Not half as hard to take as the first one was. <laughs> What's the matter? Come on. I'll show you how it's done, baby. Yeah. Here's, here's hoping we have more tomorrow. <laughs> well, Doctor? What she needs most, Mrs. Morgan, is rest and a very good diet. I want you to see that she has plenty of eggs and milk and eats a whole lot of fruit. And to be very sure that nothing worries her. I think it might be a very good plan to uh, keep her in bed for a few days. Then you think she'll be all right soon, Doctor? I'm sure she will. You just keep her quiet. Now, don't you worry, Mrs. Morgan. I'm sure Dr. Romaine will have her well in no time. I hope so. Why doesn't my daddy come home? Why didn't my husband come home with you, Doctor? Oh, well, uh, but you see, he and Dad were visiting, so, so Dr. Romaine and I just came on ahead. I'm sure he'll be here very soon now. So, you left him in the sickle and sheath, eh? Why, yes. Well, I'm sure Joe will be home pretty quick. It was awfully nice of you, Anne, to bring the doctor. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Morgan. I, I wanted to walk anyway. Well, good night. Good night, Anne. Well, good night, dear. Goodbye. Well, good night, Mrs. Morgan. Good night, doctor. Well, good night. Good night. One o'clock, Joe Morgan. You've been down to Slade's place drinking. Well, what if I have? Oh, Joe, don't you remember when you were a child? How we struggled for a living just because your father was a drunkard. Do you want Mary to be raised like you were? Well, I, I'm not a drunkard. Hey, what, what's the harm in one or two little drinks? But you can't stop with one or two, Joe. Oh, yes, I can. I'm a man. I can stop any time I please. Ah, you may be a man, but you're a Morgan. And no Morgan ever won a bout with whiskey yet. I mean, I can take a drink where I please and when I please. Or leave it alone. Tempt him to see the boy. What a headache. <laughs> All day. <laughs> Say, I've got something here that'll fix your head off all right. Let's go in my office.
Sit down, Green. Hey, Joe, I dreamed of that fight all night. It was short and sweet. <laughs> he wasn't so tough. Tough or not, you tamed him. Say, the way you knocked him through those swinging doors, boy. <laughs> Punch would have killed a horse. Down near busted my fist on him. Say, Joe, you want to be careful. Because he and his gang are plenty tough. Guess I'd keep away from the sickle chief tonight. Because hmm. they're liable to be coming back looking for revenge. Uh, that gang can't bluff me. If they're looking for trouble, they can sure find plenty. Add up, boy. Well, Joe, I'll we'll see you tonight. Sure. How's Mary? We've kept her in bed all day on doctor's orders. Joe! You've been drinking again. You're taking the same role that all the rest of the Morgan men took. Am I? When I want a drink, I'm taking it. You understand? Thank you, Daddy. So, you brought a bottle home with you now this time. Bottle? Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and maybe I did. was my little girl tonight? Oh, Father, I'm so glad to go. Uh, and Daddy's brought a little present for you. Oh, what is it? Now you close your eyes. Tight. Now don't peek. There. Now look. Oh, a new doll. You're off for good, Daddy. Hey, you what? Supper's ready, Joe. You think you ought to bring Mary to the table? Bring Mary? Yeah, why not? Shall we bring Nan have supper? All right. Yeah, Daddy, Daddy. We all have supper together. Now. Daddy? Hmm? Can't Mary and Raggedy Ann come to supper, too? Me? Mm-hmm. That's what we'll call her. Oh, the new dog? Yes. Yeah. Why, of course they can. Come on, yeah, you, Mary. You take Mary, and I'll take Miss Raggedy Ann, and away we go. The four of us. Come on, Ray. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. How about that glass of milk? Aren't we going to drink that? Come on. Oh, all of it, all of it. Make it good and strong. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Now. Mm -hmm. Now Daddy's going to put you, Mimi, and Raggedy Ann to bed. Come on. I suppose Joe will be going down to Slade's place again tonight. I don't think you'll go again, Mother. I know the Morgan men better than you do. Lie down there. Daddy fixed up the little baby for and everything. Put your arm out here. Yeah. How's that? Huh? Daddy, aren't you going to stay home with me tonight? Please? You want me to? Yeah. I'll do it. Daddy will stay right here with you. Mm. Yeah, mm. That's it. Ooh, that little <laughs> tummy full of milk in it. Mm. <laughs> Did you go to sleep now? Yeah. 
dream of daddy? Mm -hmm. Daddy, think of you all. Set him up for the house, Simon. Maybe that'll help him. <laughs> I was only kidding you. <laughs> Everybody up to the bar. The drinks are on the best man in Cedarville. No, listen. <laughs> Joe. You shouldn't let Harvey trim Joe, Dad. He can't afford to lose that way. You mind your own business. Joe Morgan is a man and can take care of himself. Looks like you're going the milling business yet, Harvey. <laughs> uh, hello. Hi, hello, fellas. Hi, Joe. Hey, I'm... Come on up to Simon's. I'm going to buy a drink. Can't get away, Joe. I'll drink it today, Joe. Oh, little drink never hurt anybody. Joe, come here. See you later. Oh, Martin. Joe's gone the way of all the Morgans. Might have known it. My wheat's been laying in your place for three weeks, waiting to be milled. I'm taking it away from you today. I have my family to think of, even if you don't think of yours. Hey, look, Martin. 
Well, now, there's no use talking. We're through. Get up there. Talk. Another customer lost. He ain't turning the wheel in that mill in a month. No, he's down the saloon, drunk again. Mother. Now that that's settled, do you think you love me just as much after we're married as you do now? Sure. More. More? Mm-hmm. I always was crazy about married men. <laughs> now, now, Sample. Am I the only man you ever kissed? Mm-hmm. Why do men always ask that? Now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to use. Oh, I, I can't let you do this. Well, Mrs. Morgan, you must take it. For little Mary's sake. Why, I... Well, Mrs. Morgan, 
I don't think you have anything in the world to worry about. She's coming along fine. It was good of you to come tonight, Anne. I can't thank you enough for all you, you've done for us. Well, I'll drop in tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Anne. Well, good night, all. Good night, Doctor. Mother. Look what Anne brought us. Charity for a drunkard's fan. Oh, Mother. It was splendid of you to do what you did tonight, Anne. I only wish I could do more. What's the chance of a little loan? No, I can't do it, Joe. You're into me pretty deep as it is. I can't go on letting you have money without security. It ain't business. Business? Business nothing. We're friends, ain't we? Money's safe enough. Ain't my mill security enough for anybody? Well, let me think this over, Joe. Yes, I'm your friend, all right. And I want to help you all I can. I'll tell you what I'll do. You sign a bill of sale for your mill, and I'll cancel all you owe me, and give you another hundred. What do you say? You're, you're a great, great fella. Hello, girls. The sign is right here, Joe. Right there. Here? Better luck next time, Joe. That's too bad, Joe. Hey, Joe. Oh, let him alone. He's all right. Awful unlucky seat there, aren't you?
I'll go and see what it's all about. I can't sleep, Simon. Don't you understand? What's the matter, Joe? What's the matter? Ah, oh, he's drunk. Simon. This man is sick. Simon, won't he's give got me a to drink. have liquor. Don't you understand? He's got to have liquor to take her off. He you... shall get no more free drinks here. We see Joe. what's going on here. He's got to have liquor. <laughs> I'll buy a bottle. <laughs> Look. Get me a bottle. Yeah. If you don't get the doctor a bottle of whiskey, pretty... don't charge him. Yeah. I don't have to stop it. You but, see what he can do it here. I want he and that kid of his to stay out of Wait a minute. Give me a drink quick. In a glass. Yeah, hello. Now, if, if Joe, you... put yourself together now, Joe. I am. I'm. Wait a minute, Joe. Now, take it easy. Hello. Well, it's all right. Put it down. Give me some more. No, that's mm. enough. Now, Joe, come on. Wait a minute. Now, we're going home. Mm. Now, wait a minute, Joe. Come on now. Wait. Come on, Joe. I'm going alone, to take you home. Alone, come on now. Alone. Come on, Joe. Don't you let him come. Don't you? Don't you? Do come on. I can do it. I can do it. Sheesh. Come on, Joe. It's all right. Now come on, Joe. Doctor, what's the matter? Joe's in pretty bad shape. I've got to get him right to bed. Oh. Put him in Mary's room. Now come on, Joe. Huh? Now pull yourself together. Come on in. Come on, Joe. I want to fight some more. No, 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 no. You're going to sleep. Now lie down quietly. Now just a minute. You'll go to sleep. Hey, 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 show him. 
Now, you're all tight, Joe. There's nothing to worry about in the world now. You're going right to sleep. You... You don't know if it comes in. Simon said there was to be no lo more liquor for you here. Just, just one, Bill. No, you know, Simon said there was to be no I'm more drink for you I'm here. all right. You see, but I just, I need a drink. You can't do it, Joe. The boss won't stand. Just one minute. I gave orders for you to stay out of here, and I meant it. Now get out and stay out. Give me, give me just, just one, one drink, Simon, and I'll, I'll go. You know how you know how sick I've been. Doc, I, 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 I've got to have just one drink, Simon. Just, just let me have one. Take your hands off of me, you drunken bum! You will get no more to drink here. Now get out, or I'll kick you out. Get out. So you're too good for me to touch, are you? Now that you have. Taken away everything that I have. You broke me, and you stole my mill. Yes, you and Harvey Green, you framed me. You stole my mill. You drunken parfly. You're a thief. Don't call me a thief. You're a thief. <laughs> Look what you've done. I'll get out of the